Thanks for stopping on in for today's college basketball pick video play as we head into the month of December. Going to be talking about this matchup here for Friday between Davidson and North Carolina. Give our take on who we feel has the better edge against the spread. North Carolina have been sitting right at about 10 to 11 point favorites thus far, but I wouldn't even be surprised to see this one shift a little bit more away from North Carolina, even on the neutral site. Uh, maybe see this one finish somewhere around 12 to 13 points, but it'll just be interesting to see how that plays itself out through the course of the day. But uh, if you guys are interested in getting all of our college basketball plays for today's action, you can get those over at stumpthespread.com, link down in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So heading into this one, North Carolina, they were able to play off their home court advantage pretty well in their last outing, getting past a respectable Michigan squad by a final of 86 to 71. North Carolina, they were able to build themselves a pretty significant lead in that one, and then they just kind of coasted their way to the end they weren't able to build off of that uh, early lead that they were able to get but kind of just keeping the wolverines at arm's length as they went on to pick up another non-conference resume building win on the year north carolina they've been pretty solid they're at six and one overall their only loss thus far came to michigan state who's just a great overall team north carolina wasn't as competitive in that one as they would have liked to have been uh, but that's just a Michigan State team that has a bit more of their pieces together from last year uh, than what North Carolina has. Although this is, of course, another Tar Heels team that has a lot of very solid talent, athletic type players on their team. So in that 6-1 and one overall record, North Carolina has also been able to pick up some resume type building wins against teams like Arkansas, Stanford on the road, and also a nice win against Northern Iowa. North Carolina, they continue to play fast and dominate on the boards. They rank 40th in the nation in scoring, 27th in rebounding. And if they're going to have success today, it's definitely going to be on the boards and getting those second chance scoring opportunities. Uh, if they're able to dominate the margin on the boards, they'll have a great chance at going on to win this one. So Davidson, we really liked them coming into the year to be more of a factor in the Atlantic 10 this season than they even were last year. The Wildcats, they've uh, slipped up a bit as of late on the road, losing some double-digit games against Nevada as well as Appalachian State. Of course, Nevada, a very good team. It's not the worst-case scenario to lose on the road to them by double digits, but that double-digit loss on the road against Appalachian State is just not the kind of result that we expect out of this Davidson squad. They were able to bounce back a bit in their last outing, however. They got past Charlotte on the road by a final of 85-70. to 70. So Davidson, they've played in three straight true road games, which can be a little bit wearing on a team, but it's still early on in the year. So fatigue shouldn't be too much of an issue uh, for this Davidson group. So the Wildcats, they also like to pay, play really fast, and that can be dangerous going against North Carolina, who has great athletes, and uh, they can really just bring those guys in, continue to play at a really fast pace, and that almost plays right into the hands of the opposition here today. It'll be interesting to see if Davidson has enough firepower on the offensive side of the ball to keep pace with North Carolina for the full 40 minutes. So on the year, Davidson, they rank 32nd in the nation in scoring, and they're actually first in assists. They share the ball really well here uh, so far this season. So we do feel like Davidson has enough offensive ability to keep things respectable here against North Carolina, but over the course of an entire 40-minute game, we just feel like North Carolina has too many athletes, too many guys that can dominate the boards uh, to get those second-chance points and points in transition, as well as limiting second-chance points for their opposition. So we do feel like at the end of the day, North Carolina, they're going to be able to kind of build on a lead slowly but surely throughout this game as they go on to win and cover this moderate spread here right now, sitting at about 10 to 11 points. So again, siding with North Carolina, giving the points. And again, guys, if you're interested in getting all of our college basketball plays, you can get those over at stumpthespread.com. Link down in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in. And we hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.